What is going on you guys? This is Tech HD and welcome to the studio room of 2018. Now, I usually make a studio room video every year, but unfortunately I missed last year's uh, video, the 2017 edition, because I felt like that my room wasn't uh, ready. I, feel, I felt like I was missing a couple of things into it, but we're now into 2018 and I want to show you guys the studio room. So there's going to be three parts into this video. So the first part is I'm going to be showing you guys everything in this room and this is pretty much my bedroom my game room my studio room my streaming setup everything and this is even my kitchen as well so this is a one bedroom apartment and it has everything in here except the bathroom so the first part of this video is gonna be I'm gonna be showing you guys everything in this room and I'm gonna have everything linked down in the description below the second part of the video is going to be my setup when I'm making a video when I'm recording so I'm gonna be showing you guys all of that and then the third part is when I'm going to be streaming when I'm streaming I move stuff around and I'm gonna be showing you guys my streaming setup as well so without further ado let's get in the video now the first thing that I want to point out before we get into this studio room is that this is also a smart room so I tried my best to have this room be as smart as possible and to allow me to use simple voice commands to turn on devices, to turn off devices, and to really control it. So I have the Amazon Echo Dot over here and I have it connected to a majority of the stuff, my lights as well as the party lights and the, therm uh, the thermostat, the AC, everything that I could possibly think of that I could connect to. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of examples. Amazon, turn off the lights. Amazon, turn on the lights. Amazon, turn off the party lights. Amazon, turn on the party lights. Amazon, turn on the LED lights. Amazon, turn off the video light. Amazon, turn off the first light. Amazon, turn on everything. Okay. So you guys are able to hear the AC that's turned on, the mosquito killer a little bit. Coffee maker is starting to heat up as well as all the lights that I have, even the RGB lights that are behind it. I'll show you guys a bit of that as well. Amazon, turn off everything. Amazon, turn on the lights. So that's just a piece of how I plan to set my next apartment up. I tried to mess around with the lights and everything possible. All right, you guys, so we're going to be beginning with the first part of the studio room tour. So starting off is at the door. So you can see that I have two acoustic foams on the door and it's nothing crazy. It's just to prevent some reverb, some echoing. And then when we go over to the right side, you can see that I have my twin size bed. Twin size bed is so that I can have a lot more room for all my equipment and stuff like that. Twin size is perfectly fine for me. And then you can see on the bed, I have my uh, Twitch pillow. I got a Yoda. I got my favorite emoji pillow. I also got a YouTube pillow, a custom one that I made with my stepmom which is really dope and you can see that I have my cat there as well and then when we go over underneath the bed I added a little bit of a uh, little bit of technology a little touch to it so I added some uh, RGB LED light strips underneath my bed to add a little flare to it and when we look above the uh, bed you can see that on the wall I have a um, acoustic foam so I have red and white color scheme unfortunately the white started to turn yellow because I cook in my room so that's why and it really bummed me out when I started to see the colors start to change which was really sad but then moving over to the right side you can see that I have a Westinghouse uh, 40 inch TV this is 1080p it's not 4k or anything like that one day I will upgrade to a 4k HDR all of that cool stuff but for now this is uh, pretty much what I use I have a Roku streaming kit onto it so that I can watch YouTube and Netflix and you know it passes by the time and then you can see that above it I have I collect snapbacks I love to collect snapbacks it's literally it's one of my favorite things to do so I love technology 
technology and I love gaming. So you can see that I have a Team MB, a Snapback, I got Twitch.tv, I got Scuff Gaming, I got Optic Gaming, and I have Gymshark and all that. So I love to create Snapbacks and my collection is growing by the minute, which is really, really cool. And then when we go underneath the TV on the floor, you can see that I have my Elgato green screen uh, and it is really great for streaming, for making videos, anything that I want to do with it. And it's so easy to make it portable and put it away and it's just the best green screen for the money so then when we go over to the right side you can see one of the first tables that i have and this is where i make my videos this is where i do my unboxing my uh, reviews all of that and then on the table what i put was a white carbon fiber wrap to it i also made a video about that so if you guys want to check it out it'll be down in the description below so i put a white carbon fiber wrap and it looks a lot better in the videos than an actual black or brown uh, table so I really like that touch when we look above I added some nice LED light tubes and I put LED lights because they're just a lot uh, more brighter and they're at 6,000 Kelvin so it's a super white bright so it looks great in videos and then when we go down you can see that I have a little bar over the table that is so I could get the overhead shot of my camera so then when I'm unboxing something or I'm reviewing something I get a nice little overshot of it I also have my main microphone and it's the Rode NTG4 Plus and this is a shotgun microphone that uses XLR so I have it connected to my computer whenever I start recording. I have it on a boom arm which is great to get that nice overhead shot that's the best possible uh, audio that I could get other than lavalier and stuff like that. And then you can see on the right side I have some lights, I have an LED light hitting at me as well as I have some other type of accessories so I have some microphones from Comica as well as I have some RGB lights so then I can hit it in the background give a little nice flare to it. And then when we go over to the left side you can see that I have another LED light and so it's all white so I have a white LED light hitting me on the left and the right side as well as above me so I can get the best possible lighting and which is really good and then you can see that my chair is from Ikea it's nothing crazy I go for a white and red color scheme so I have a red chair it looks really cool and then on the drawers I have my unboxing knife as well as on the other drawer I have a whole bunch of cables a whole bunch of accessories for when I start making videos which is really cool and I just want to let you guys know that these lights are controlled through a uh, smart device so that I could use Amazon Alexa or the Google Home to tell them to turn on the lights, turn it off, all of that, which is really nice. And so then when we turn around, you can see that I have my kitchen. So this is nothing crazy. I have a mini fridge. I have a microwave. I have pretty much everything that I need. But one of the sections I want to show you guys is pretty much my area of G Fuel. So I love G Fuel. I really like the flavors of it. So I have a whole bunch of G Fuel. I got blue ice, phaseberry, cherry limeade, pink lemonade, all of that. I also have my uh, protein as well as my creatine, which is really cool. But yeah, I love to collect G Fuel. So I just wanted to show you guys a little bit about that. And so then finally we go over to my gaming setup, my recording area, all of that. So starting off on the walls, you can see that I love Call of Duty. That's what I'm mainly known for. So I have Call of Duty Ghost, I have Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. I wish I had Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare and Black Ops 2. Those are, in my opinion, one of the best Call of Duties that they ever created. I will be getting posters of that as well. But for now I have those and those are my main ones. And then behind me, I also have the Modern Warfare uh, Remastered one, which is really cool. So then we start off on the left side of the setup. So I got a printer, I got paperwork above it, nothing crazy. I got the Optic Gaming book, which is really cool. I'm starting to read that little by little. I also have a camera mug, which is really nice. It shows that I'm into technology and filming and gaming as well. And then when we go over to the right side, you can see that I have my preamp. So I have the Scarlet, uh, Focusrite Scarlet Solo Studio Pack, and that's where I have my uh, NTG4 Plus connected to it whenever I'm starting to make uh, videos above that. I I have my gaming glasses so that it doesn't whenever I'm staring at a monitor for a really long time it doesn't mess up my eyes for multiple hours I underneath that I also have my gaming laptop so I have the Asus GL 503 this is what I use whenever I'm traveling so I can edit and record and be able to game as well which is really nice next to my preamp I have one of the uh, speakers I have the left side of the speaker which is really cool as well as I have a, a Joby tripod uh, so that I could use whenever I'm vlogging or doing anything like that above that i have my boom arm and on that i have my focus wise solo studio pack which i use for uh, voiceovers anything that i need to uh, cover up 
uh, behind the scenes and post production. Next to that, I have my Xbox 360. I don't have that hooked up. I just use that to show, which is really, really cool. And then I have my dual screen monitors set up, which is really, really nice. So my first one is my gaming monitor. I use the BenQ 24-inch uh, gaming one with the one millisecond response time. It's 1080p. I want to upgrade to 4K soon. And then I have a Dell IPS monitor, and that's what I use for graphic design work, for video editing, stuff like that, as well as streaming, which is really nice. Above that, though, I have my 4K Brio, so this is the webcam that I would use uh, whenever I'm doing conference works or whenever I need to um, video chat with somebody. But then next to that, I have a camera setup, and this isn't the camera that I use, but that's just for an example. So I will mount my Panasonic Lumix G7 to the tripod so that I could hook that up for streaming and stuff like that, and that's how I would have it all hooked up. So. And then when we go below the monitors as well as the preamps, you can see that I have my keyboard and my mouse. So I upgraded from my Razer Black Widow X Chroma keyboard to a Corsair K68 keyboard. So I upgraded, I changed to a Cherry MX Red and I really like it because it's a lot quieter, a lot better when I'm streaming and making videos as well as typing. It's just, to me, it feels better. Next to that, I have a simple mouse pad. It's nothing crazy, but I am using the Logitech MS Master uh, S2, so I use that on my laptop when I'm traveling and then I could set that up on my desktop which is really really nice and then when we go to the right side you can see the other speaker and I also have my Elgato stream deck which is great for not just streaming but also making videos editing all of that and then next to that I have my gaming switch so I have everything connected to this gaming switch I'm using the Netgear SX10 gaming switch and I have my PC I have my Xbox I have my PS4 and I even have my laptop connected to it it's really great and then next to that well I have is the other speaker as well as my HDMI switch so that I can easily switch to my Xbox, my PS4, my PC instead of constantly removing the cables. And then above that, I have the Amazon Echo Dot. That's what I use to control all of this stuff in my room, anything smart related, which is really, really dope. Above the monitor, though, I have one of the LED light bulbs, and that's for hitting me in the face whenever I'm streaming so that I could get that nice uh, front angle. Uh, light and then I have the side lights as well, which is really cool next to that though I have my Xbox one and I don't have an Xbox one X or PS4 Pro Unfortunately, but I will be getting one soon upgrading my monitors upgrading my console so that they could all support uh, 4k gaming as well as 4k editing and stuff like that, which is really cool But I'm using the basic Xbox one the original one, but then next to that I have my gaming router So I have my Netgear XR 500 gaming router it is literally the best gaming router in the market for uh, gaming and preventing lag and all that which is really cool when we go over to the right side you can see that I have my PC so just to let you guys know I'm gonna have the full list of the specs of the PC but very quickly I'm just rocking an Intel Core i7 4790k I'm rocking 16 gigs of DDR3 memory I have a GTX 960 I have about one and a half terabytes of storage so I have 500 for the boot as well as I have a terabyte for the regular storage so nothing crazy you know I will be upgrading those parts I really want to upgrade from DDR I really want to upgrade to DDR4 as well as get a 10 series graphics cards and all that so I have a bunch of plans for that but I'll leave the entire uh, specs down in the description below when we look above the PC, you can see that I have my Arlo security camera, so that is the base of it. So I have some security cameras in my apartment to protect me from all of this stuff so that none of this could get stolen. So I have some Arlo Pro cameras outside. I don't have the Pro 2s, I just have the regular Pros. And then I have an indoor security camera as well, which is really cool. You can see that behind there, I have acoustic phones as well as my Modern Warfare Remastered poster, which is really cool. But below the PC, you can see that I have my white PS4. So the original PS4, not the PS4 Slim or the Pro. Like I said, I want to be upgrading soon to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X. And also I have a white and red color scheme, which is really cool. Going into the drawers, you can see that I have just a bunch of cables, accessories, stuff like that so that I could um, make videos, help me um, with videos and editing and all of that. But really, it's nothing crazy. And that is pretty much my entire setup. Hopefully, I did not miss anything. And this is the first part of the video. So now let's go over to the second part and I'm going to be showing you guys a time lapse of of me setting everything up when I want to create a video and I'm going to be uh, explaining everything right there.
So now one of the first things that you guys notice when I am starting to make videos is I have one big giant blanket literally hooked onto the ceiling and that is to prevent reverb and echo. This is an acoustic blanket and that's what I use to prevent reverb and echo since it's going like really far into the walls but I also have my acoustic foams on the walls to help me with that as well. Another thing that you guys notice is that I have two giant um, black acoustic foams and that's on my table and it's kind of leaning. That's also one I'm talking directly into the camera it prevents from echo and reverb bouncing off the wall and hit and coming back into the microphone that's what I use as well and then we also have a little um, rolled up acoustic blanket on the on the table itself and with that that's to prevent reverb as well bouncing off the table and going into the microphone of the camera or into the microphone of the NTG 4 plus I also have the uh, LED party lights uh, aiming directly at me when whenever I'm making videos so that I could hit the background my projector screen so that I could um, have a nice little flare I could change the colors to red green blue mix it around and have a really nice uh, vibe to the video and then you can see behind me I have a giant white uh, projector screen and that's what I use as my background I want to get other type of colors to like really change the type of vibe of the video stuff like that which is really really cool and then you can see that um, right next to the chair I have one another microphone and that's what I use this microphone is what I use whenever I'm doing the overhead shot because I'm looking down onto the product and so my voice isn't really hitting the microphone above me it's not hitting the NTG 4 plus so I think it would be best to use a uh, condenser microphone for whenever I'm doing overhead shots which, are, which is really cool and then like I said my regular red chair and then I have my microphone as well and that's pretty much how it looks like whenever I'm making a video so now we're gonna be going over the to the final step and that is when I am streaming so then you're gonna see me uh, mess around a little bit change a little things <laughs> And so now we're at the final part of this video and this is my streaming setup so pretty much I mess around a little bit I don't do I don't move so much of the stuff but I have my laptop open and I have my monitors on gaming and also OBS studio which is really cool so I have my gaming monitor I use for looking at the dashboard looking at the chat screen on twitch.tv I stream mainly on twitch but I can also stream on YouTube as well I have my gaming monitor set to the game so for example Call of Duty World War 2 I have my other monitor on OBS studio so that I could change uh, scenes go on in a mission all of that and I'm using OBS studio I used to use OBS and then you can see in front of it I have my microphone in front of me so whenever I'm playing any consoles so that I can get nice voiceovers so whenever I'm playing any consoles or PC gaming or anything like that I pull out the uh, Elgato stream deck a little bit closer to me so that I can easily change dreams uh, change the intermissions the scenes as well as mute myself stuff like that that, which is really cool and this is all running on my gaming PC as well and then you can see behind the chair the chair is really nothing crazy it's literally nothing but the behind the chair I have my green screen so I have the Elgato green screen that's the main thing that I move around and I use this for my background so that nobody can see my kitchen or anything like that because that's nothing uh, really nice to really see for the background and then above the monitor is where I mount my Panasonic Lumix G7 and that's what I use and I have that connected to the cam link which is connected to my PC so then I can use a mirrorless camera as a webcam which is really really dope so that is pretty much my streaming setup and this is a really really nice setup and I'm always improving it I'm always getting a different microphone a different camera different lighting stuff like that I use a majority of the, of the lights like I said I have the light next to the camera to hit me in the face I have the light on the left side aiming on the side so then and then I have the uh, light above me so that I can really balance it out so then I won't have any issues with the green screen uh, setup 
And so there you guys have it. That's pretty much my setup. You guys saw three parts of it. You saw the entire setup as well as you saw how it looked like whenever I'm making a video, as well as you saw what, how it looks like whenever I am streaming. And just to let you guys know that all of this was shot using the Panasonic Lumix G7 shot on 4K and I'm using a newer carbon fiber uh, slider in order to get those nice uh, B-roll shots. That's the only thing I wasn't able to show you guys, but that's pretty much it. This is my setup.